21 year old male with some numbness and cold sensation on the anterior lateral thigh for about 10 months, no injury. So our first clip, we can see the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve right on the top of the screen. And here you can see the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve just lateral to the sartorius muscle between that and tensor fascial lateral muscle. Just to the right of that, you have sartorius muscle. The right side of the screen is medial. Lateral femoral cutaneous nerve really runs right on top of sartorius and kind of branches out. It's underneath the inguinal ligament. You can see that little hypoechoic triangle of fat that the nerve lives in. And here you can appreciate that hypoechoic area of perineural fat that surrounds the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. Um, Here's quite a sizable lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. You can see all that perineural fat that's surrounding it, as well as the enlarged nerve itself, consistent with this patient's symptoms. Right, we just follow that nerve down. So again, here we're looking at the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve uh, 1142. We could just follow that distally. Here again, we're just highlighting the nerve as you go distally. Right now we're over the rectus femoris muscle. You can appreciate some of the muscle layers. You can follow the sartorius muscle that goes over the vasculature medially. So we got sartorius now in the middle of the screen, 1142. <clears throat> so if you're not sure which is sartorius muscle, the easiest thing to do is to find the femoral artery and femoral vein, and then you know that muscle lies right on top of that. And we can just keep that in, in view here. You can see how that goes medial, and then see how it goes over the vasculature, kind of like a shield of the femoral vein and artery. Okay, here, femoral artery nicely, and the sartorius muscles essentially right above that, we're at 1143 now. now we're going to go back proximal, we're at 1143, we're going to follow sartorius muscle, and again it just lies just superficial to it. Again here you can preach some of the muscle layers, you got the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, deep to that is the sartorius muscle, and medial to it is sartorius muscle, and underneath the sartorius you have the Find rectus the femoris muscle. I'm going to go proximal, follow that sartorius muscle, and there's your nerve. Again here we're just doing a similar kind of motion with the probe going proximally. Now we're starting the procedure. We're a little too deep actually. So this is actually a really superficial injection. You want to have the patient at the edge of the table so you can re-angulate your needle need be. And here we're trying to get the needle just around that perineural fat and that's where our injectate is going to go. And, uh, and basically just inject it. We're using a cocktail here of saline, lidocaine, and Methylprednisolone, here again you can appreciate some of the muscle layers surrounding the nerve. And just keep your eye on the tip of that needle, you can see how close we are getting to the nerve here. And we don't want to actually go through the nerve, we just want to get around the nerve and inject fluid around and the nerve. Trying to inject, we're at 1158. 1158. Almost like a hydro dissection type of technique. Like Here you can see some fluid going out of the needle tip. <clears throat> and again, there's the nerve, there's the needle, sartorius rectus femoris, tensor fascial lateral muscles. Superficial now. Other than the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve, there's not much neurovascular structures here to worry about. And here again, you can see some more injectate surrounding the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve and hopefully helping this patient's symptomatology.